in the colorful city of Jaipur, India, lived two young souls, Sia and Aman. Theirs was a tale of blossoming love under the golden sun and starlit nights, of laughs shared over spicy street food, and of tender moments spent under the centuries-old architecture of the pink city. Sia, a spirited young woman, was known for her charm and vivacious spirit. Her playful nature often led her to be the life of the crowd, garnering attention from many. Meanwhile, Aman, a sincere and down-to-earth young man, was known for his steadfastness and loyalty. He was a man of few words, but his words carried the weight of his honesty when he spoke. Their relationship was one that reflected their personalities. Aman, a constant presence by Sia's side, showed his love through actions more than words. His love was the silent support he provided and the comforting presence he held. When he uttered the words, I love you, it reflected his enduring loyalty and pure devotion. Sia, on the other hand, was a butterfly flitting about the garden of social gatherings. She reveled in the attention she received and often flirted harmlessly with others. Yet, whenever she returned to Aman with words of love, the words left her with a twinge of guilt and a whirlpool of uncertainty. Each night as they ended their calls, Aman would listen to Sia's I love you and drift into a peaceful sleep, comforted by the honesty of his feelings. Sia, however, was left wide awake, her heart pounding with anxiety. The thought that plagued her mind was whether Aman was doing the same as her, flirting with others. The stress took a toll on Sia, she became restless, the joy in her eyes gradually replaced by a haunted look. Her playful spirit dwindled, replaced by worry and mistrust. Every time Aman assured her of his fidelity, she would wonder, is he like me? Is he also like? Sia finally confessed her fears to Aman. She expressed her anxieties, her guilt, and her dilemma. Aman, shocked, concern crossing his face, decides to call her after seeing the message. Hello, Sia. Are you all right? Amen, I love you. But sometimes I flirt harmlessly with others. I wonder if you're doing the same. It eats away at me and I feel guilty. Sia, I love you deeply. My heart is loyal to you alone. I don't feel the need to flirt with others or seek validation from anyone but you. I know and understand the boundaries you create sometimes and that the relationship can get overwhelming at times. But Sia... Please don't ever think that I have anyone else in mind beside you. Hey, I love you, Sia. Aman, I'm sorry for doubting you. I want to trust you completely. In the end, their love story was a lesson for all. It taught that living a life of honesty not only brings peace, but also instills trust. It might hurt sometimes, but it's far better than the constant torment of dishonesty. You might be taken for granted, but never stop being honest because the peace it brings is invaluable.